गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इंटेग्रेटिंग फैक्टर फॉर द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एक्स लाग एक्स डी वाई बाई डी एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू टू लाग एक्स देर आर फोर ऑप्शन गिवन विच ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट गिवन इक्वेशन एक्स लाग एक्स डी वाई बाई डी एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू टू लाग एक्स Divide the entire equation by x log x. Then what will come? dy by dx plus y by x log x is equal to two log x divided by x log x. Then log x log x will get cancelled. Then this can be written as dy by dx plus one by x log x into y is equal to two by x. Clearly, it is in the form of dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x. We know that this is linear differential equations. What is integrating factor? Integrating factor is equal to e to the power of integral p of x dx. This is e to the power of integral. What is p of x? Here, this this is p of x. This is q of x. P of x is one by x log x dx. Yes. How we will solve this one? We may solve this one by take log x is equal to t. Let log x is equal to t. Then one by x dx is dt. Log x differentiation is one by x. One by x dx is dt. Then integrating factor can be written as e to the power of integral one by log x into one by x dx because x log x can be written as one by log x into one by x dx. This is equal to e to the power of Integral one by log x is nothing but one by t. Then one by x dx is dt. This is equal to e to the power of log t. This is e to the power of log t is t. T is nothing but log x. Therefore, the correct option is b. Integrating factor is log x. Question number two: If m and n respectively are the order and degree of the differential equation d by dx of dy by dx whole to the power of four is equal to zero, then m plus n is equal to. Here order is m. We have to find out degree is n. What is given differential equation d by dx of dy by dx whole to the power of four is equal to zero. Write down dy by dx is y dash for our simple calculation purpose. Then what will be the differential equation? d by dx of y dash whole to the power of four is equal to zero. Differentiate y dash with respect to x. This is four. Y dash whole cube again y dash differentiation is y double dash is equal to zero. This is four times. What is y dash? Dy by dx whole cube into what is y double dash? D square y by dx square is equal to zero. You know that. Here, 
differentiation of y here only one time dy by dx here d square y by dx by two times this is highest highest is two therefore order is equal to two then what is this power d square y by dx square whole to the power of one we can write this is d square y by dx square whole to the power of one that is order is equal to two degree is one we know that order is equal to m m is equal to two degree is n n is equal to one therefore m plus n is equal to 2 plus 1, this is equal to 3. What is the correct option here? C is the correct option. Question number 3. If P and Q are the degree and order of the differential equation, d square y by dx square whole square plus 3, 3 dy by dx plus d cubed y by dx cubed is equal to 4. Then the value of 2p minus 3q. Here p is degree, q is order. q is equal to order. p is degree. See the differential equation here. dy by dx first order, d square y by dx square second order, d cubed by dx cubed third order. The highest is third. Therefore, order is equal to 3. In this differential equation, order is 3. This power is, we may observe this power, all to the power of 1. Therefore, degree is 1. Then we want to find out 2p minus 3q. This is equal to 2p, 2 into 1, minus 3q. 3 into 3. This is 2 minus 9 is equal to minus 7. Therefore, the correct option is minus 7b is the correct option. Question number 4. Find the value of m and n where m and r order and degree of differential equation for d square y by dx per whole cube plus d cubed y by dx cubed is equal to x square minus 1. Given equation for d square y by dx square whole cube plus d cubed y by dx cube here divided by d cubed y by dx cubed is equal to x square minus 1 multiply entire equation by d cubed y by dx cubed the denominator here we have to remove the denominator what will become for d square y by dx square whole cube d cubed y by dx cubed, we are multiplying, it will get cancelled. Plus, d cubed y by dx cubed into d cubed y by dx cubed is d cubed y by dx cubed whole square is equal to x square minus 1 into multiply with d cubed y by dx cubed. We know that here d square y by dx square, here d cubed y by dx cube, d cubed y by dx cube. Order is equal to 3. Here d cubed y by dx cube, power is 1, here is power is 2. Therefore, degree is equal to 2 because highest power we have to take. Therefore, order is m, degree is n. Therefore, m is equal to 3, n is equal to 2, which is the correct one. First one is n is equal to 3, n is equal to 2. Option A is correct. Question number 5. Differential equation e power x dy by dx is equal to 3y square 
can be solved using the method of here there are three methods are given which method is correct we have to find out then what is given differential equation e power x dy by dx is equal to 3y square is it possible to bring all y one side x other side you may observe dy by 3y square otherwise simply y square also I don't is equal to you send dx and e power x this side divided by dx is numerator e to the power of x it will come denominator it is possible to integrate in both sides you will get the solution that means we are making separating the variables therefore the option a is correct one question number six general solution of the differential equation log dy by dx is equal to 2x plus y given differential equation log of dy by dx is equal to 2x sorry 2x plus y then what is dy by dx if you are sending log this side it will become e to the power of 2x plus y that is dy by dx is equal to e power 2x into e power y you make a variable and separable method bring all x terms one side y terms one side this is dy by e power y is equal to e power 2x into dx Again, you write down this is e to the power of minus y dy is equal to e power 2x into dx. Now, integrate on both sides. If you are integrating on both sides, what you will get? e to the power of minus y dy is minus e power minus y is equal to e power 2x. What is e power 2x? e power 2x divided by 2 plus c then which option is correct one you may observe here minus e power minus y 1 by 2 e power 2x plus c option c is correct one question number 7 the particular solution of the differential equation dy by dx is equal to y tan x given that y is equal to 1 when x is 0 particular solution means we have to find out the value of c now what is the given differential equation dy by dx is equal to y tan x first you may observe is it possible to bring all x terms one side y terms other side yes it is possible to write dy by you bring is equal to y this side divided by y is equal to tan x into dx take integrate on both sides integral dy by y is log mod y is equal to integral tan x is mod log secant x plus c, c also write down plus log c, otherwise log mod c, whatever it means. This is mod y is equal to log a plus log b is equal to log a b. This is log modulus of c into secant x, otherwise this is y is equal to c secant x. Now, we, this is the general solution. We want particular solution means we have to calculate the value of C. Here, what is given condition? Y is equal to 1 when X is 0. Now, equation 1, you substitute Y is equal to 1 is equal to C into secant 0. We know that second 0 is equal to 1, which implies 
1 is equal to c. Therefore, equation 1 can be written as y is equal to secant dx. This is the particular solution of the given differential equation. Which option is correct? You may check it, please. Option B is correct one. Question number 8. Degree of the differential equation d cubed by by dx cubed whole to the power of 2 by 3 is equal to x is. Given differential equation is d cubed y by dx cubed whole to the power of 2 by 3 is equal to x. Now remove the fraction to the power that is a 2 by 3. How to remove the fraction? Make whole cubed on both sides. Make whole cubed on both sides. Then we know that this is d cubed y by dx cube whole to the power of 2 by 3 into 3 is equal to x cubed. 3, 3 will get cancelled. This is d cubed y by dx cubed whole square is equal to x cubed. Given differential equation is simplified in this form. Here d cubed y by dx cubed whole square clearly order is 3 degree is 2. Now we want to find only degree. Degree is 2. Option B is the correct one. Question number 9. Integrating factor of the differential equation dy by dx is equal to cos y by 1 minus x sin y is. Now write down dy by dx, write it dx by dy. Then dx by dy is equal to, this will become numerator will be denominator, denominator will be numerator. 1 minus x sin y divided by cos y. This is dx by dy is equal to 1 by cos y minus x sin y by cos y. This is dx by dy. 1 by cos y is equal to secant y minus sin y by cos y is tan y. x tan y. You bring x tan y this side. dx by dy minus x tan y it will come plus x tan y is equal to secant y. This is in the form of dx by dy plus p of y into x is equal to q of y, which is linear differential equation. Here what is p of y? p of y is equal to tan y. Then, integrating factor is equal to e to the power of integral tan y dy. This is equal to e to the power of integral tan y is equal to log secant y. e and log will get cancelled. This is equal to secant y. Therefore, Integrating factor is equal to secant y. Option C is correct one. Differential equation x dy by dx is equal to y log y minus log x plus 1 can be solved using the method of given differential equation is x dy by dx is equal to y into log y minus log x plus 1. Divide the entire equation with y. Then dy by dx is equal to 
y by x log y this is also log y minus log x you write down log y by x plus 1 now let us take let y by x is equal to v which implies y is equal to vx that means if you are taking like this dy by dx is equal to v plus x dv by dx then this can be written as v plus x dv by dx is equal to v into v plus 1 Now we bring v this side and make a variable separable. Here which method we are using? y by x is equal to v, y is equal to vx. Which method? It is homogeneous equation. Option b is the correct answer.